Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy, very snowy, cold ass, icy day here in Colorado. Hopefully, if you're here, you're staying warm. If you're somewhere else, I hope it's warmer there. Anyways, I um, posted this question last night and I thought I would hop on here and address it in a video today because this is not something I always knew how to do and it's just always good to plant this seed of awareness and also, well, hello, Jen, and also to um, just remind you that you are the co-creator of your reality. And so the question that I posed last night is, are you living your life on purpose? And I was thinking about this as far as I help a lot of people figure out what their soul's purpose is, which then once we know, we can live our life on purpose. But even if we're not there yet, and even if we don't know, we can start the process of actually being really super aware of um, how we're living our life. So I think back to my youth and my 20s before I knew this, before my, um, my waking up process really began and feeling so pushed around by my reality and feeling like things were happening to me personally. Like, I think it's really funny. I even think about this, um, like even with road rage <laughs> recently, like this awareness that... It is really funny when people take it personally that like someone did something to them because most of the time we are all so tied up in our own realities and what is happening in our own world that we probably just didn't see the person we cut off or they didn't see us. So someone not living on purpose. But every day we have a choice to wake up and we have a choice to go through the motions, be a victim of our reality, get pushed around by what's happening around us, or we have the ability to take control and take charge of it, to actually manifest the life that we want. And maybe you don't know. Maybe you have no idea what that life looks like. And if that's the case, please reach out to me because that's what I do. I help people figure that out. But if you have an inkling of an idea of what that might be, the process then becomes to consciously and presently go through all of the actions of your day. So I was just talking to um, a client this morning and we were talking about morning routines and actually like even the things that you already have on your calendar, you can decide how you're going to show up for those appointments. You can decide ahead of time that uh, going and getting a crown is going to be the most enjoyable experience of your life. I mean, you really do have a choice. Now, I know sometimes you, you are just having a bad day. Sometimes you're just in a bad mood. Sometimes like the moon is throwing you off. Maybe your kids don't listen to you when you're getting them ready for school. Maybe you ate rotten chicken last night and you don't feel good, but you can still sit with and feel whatever it is you're feeling and then make a choice on if, all right, well, okay, I'm in this meat suit. This is my human body. This is my, my human experience. I know I'm here to experience all the shit. So cool. I can check the box on experiencing the rotten chicken and move on. But overall, you have a choice of how you're going to show up, how you're going to create your reality. Now, that's not to say you have a choice of how everything is going to look as far as that's concerned. Um, again, discussing earlier about the idea of trust and faith. And this is a big one, right? Like, yes, there is this point in our world where we have to also realize we are co-creating and so we are wearing these meat suits and we do have this brain and although this brain is amazing and can do incredible things when we are using it properly it still only has like a tiny amount of the possibilities that the universe has and so there is a point where we have to leap and trust that something's going to catch us. If we know we're in alignment, if we know that we're living our life in purpose, then we have trust and faith that it's going to work out. Now, if you unconsciously, subconsciously, in the back of your mind are thinking, mm, I'm not really worthy of that. Life has to be hard. I have to work for that. Then you could be counteracting whatever it is that you are purposely manifesting. Now, this goes beyond just even manifestation, you guys. This is just how we show up in our day. It's a conscious decision. 
It's a con conscious decision every moment of the day, how we interact with people, how we show up, how we respond to our environment and how we respond to everything that's happening around us. So even if it's not the most wonderful situation, you could still have fun. I spent Sunday in a small town in Illinois. I probably looked at over 500 gravestones trying to find um, this particular one um, for someone that I was with. You wouldn't think that would be a very fun activity, but it was a beautiful day. It was gorgeous outside. The cemetery was beautiful. And we decided to have fun doing it instead of making it this tedious task and just enjoy it for what it is. So I'm telling you, if I can turn walking to cemeteries looking for headstones into a joyful experience, you can find any way to find your ex make your experiences more joyful. In fact, one of the people that's out here just has been through a lot of tremendous stuff in her life over the last month or so. And she is keeping the most positive attitude and she's doing it by using affirmations. So I will offer that to you as well. She's one of her favorite is that she's a badass and she is. Um, but to remember that you are a cosmic badass and to not forget that and to not let yourself become a victim of whatever is happening around you, but to purposely choose how you experience, how you show up, and who you want to be. And that's what I got for you on this snowy, what is it? I think it's a Tuesday. It might be Monday, actually. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, love and light to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Choose to make even this really chilly day warm and bright and do something really, really good for yourself today. Love and light until I talk to you again.